Well, Donald, did you enjoy your geometrical journey? Gee, Mr. Spirit, guess you got more to my minutes than two times two. That's right, Donald. And you can find mathematics in games, too. Games? Oh, boy. Thanks for me. You know the game, don't you, Donald? Of course. The two ball has to hit the other two balls. Like this. Now let's see how an expert at three cushion billiards uses his head. Three cushion? Yes. The cue ball not only has to hit both the other balls, but it must contact at least three cushions before it hits the final ball. One, two, three. Takes an expert to make several shots in succession. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow! That was like a good shot. Luck? No, it's skill. For this game, you have to know all the angles. Striking the cue ball low, so it'll spin backwards. Hitting the ball on the right side will make it hug the rail. These trick shots take a lot of practice. <laughs> he missed one. <laughs> one, two, three. What's your best money to about that? Oh, this game takes precise calculation. He figures out each shot in his head. He could play it like this, but it calls for quite a bit of luck. There is a better choice. For this, he uses the diamond markings on the rail as a mathematical guide. First, he figures the natural angle for hitting the object balls. And then he finds that his cue ball must bounce off the number three diamond. Next, he gets ready for the shot, and he needs a number for his cue position. This calls for a different set of numbers. Very confusing, isn't it? Not when you get the hang of it. You see, the Q position is four. Now a simple subtraction. Three from four is one. So if he shoots for the first diamond, he should make it. It's called playing the diamond system. Natural angle two, Q position. One and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Two from three and a half is one and a half. So, shoot halfway between the first and second diamonds. Guess what I do it. Let me try. Let's see now. If I sit it here, it'll bounce there, and, uh, go here. If I sit it here, Four and a half minus three. Three and a half plus four and up to two. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're divided into two. Uh, so, uh, I guess I should shoot about here. No, no, Donald. There's no guesswork to mathematics. It's quite simple. Natural angle for the hit. Two. Q position. Three and a half. How much is three and a half minus two? Uh, one and a half.
You're making it tough for yourself, Donald. So you don't get so much damage, Mr. Spirit. Wonderful, Donald. And now you're ready for the most exciting game of all. Oh, boy! And the playing field for this game is in the mind. Oh, look at the condition of your mind. Antiquated ideas, bungling, false concepts, superstitions, confusion. To think straight, we'll have to clean house. <laughs> That's more like it. A nice, clean sweep. This game is played with circles and triangles. Think of a pentagram, Donald. Now put another inside. A third. And a fourth. No pencil is sharp enough to draw as fine as you can think. And no paper large enough to hold your imagination. In fact, it is only in the mind that we can conceive infinity. Mathematical thinking has opened the doors to the exciting adventures of science. I'm your door door. I've never seen so many doors before. Each discovery leads to many others. An endless chain. Hey, hey. What's the matter with these doors? Hey, these doors won't open. Stay out. Of course they are locked. These are the doors of the future. And the key is... Mathematics! Right. Mathematics. The boundless treasures of science are locked behind those doors. In time, they will be opened by the curious and inquiring minds of future generations. In the words of Galileo, mathematics is the alphabet with which God has written the universe.